Aviotech International is an approved training organization by the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. They specialize in aircraft structural repair. And now Aviotech presents to you the Cabin Crew Lab. For those who dream to be flight attendants in the future. Hi everyone, welcome to Avia TV. Way back 2004, only Philippine Airlines conducts training for their hired crew. I mean, flight attendant crew. So today we will have the opportunity and the privilege of interviewing the first author of the flight attendant training program here in the Philippines that is open to public. And as we speak, she still continues her dreams, her visions, I right hear. And it's none other than Miss Marla Martinez. Let's go. Thank you, Gavin, for that very, very nice introduction. And I am so excited today uh, with all these uh, beautiful ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so there we go. Thank you very much, Miss Marla, for this opportunity that you have given us today. And as you notice, we also have other guests with us today. And they are aspiring flight attendants. Can you beautiful ladies introduce yourself? Good day. My name is Maria Shane Ambasco, 20 years old, studying at the Sal University Das Marinas. Hi everyone, I am Mary Angelica Valtora Samaro, 20 years old and now studying at the La Salle University Das Marinas. Hello everyone, I'm Sophie Marie Balectas, 21 years of age and studied from the La Salle University Das Marinas. And, and we are your aspiring flight attendants. Marla for giving us the opportunity and for having us here. Um, so now we're going to give them a chance to ask you a question regarding the flight attendant career. So let's have a uh, map. Thank you, Sir Gavin. Well, Mom Marla, you've flown for 19 years, right? So how was your experience as a flight attendant? Well, in total, I enjoyed my aviation career tremendously. Not just seeing the world for free or meeting a lot of people all over the world, uh, but I truly enjoy the crew. While the airline is so multiracial, uh, sometimes you fly with uh, Asians, Americans, U European, Egyptians, Moroccans, and you get to learn from them because you work with them, right? So, um, and one of the experiences that uh, I truly treasure is uh, flying transatlantic, like when you see uh, the brighter side on the left side of the window. You look on the right side, there you see the dark night. Those type of miracle of flying is what I love most. Uh, when you land during breakfast in New York, and you get to ask the passengers what do they want to eat in the first class, and they ask you, at the same time, what time is it? Because there's an adjustment with the time difference in New York. And wow, see, the miracle of flying is always there. Those are the experiences that I treasure most. And what is your most unforgettable moment during your flight? I have so many unforgettable experiences uh, flying for a longer years uh, with the airline. But at the moment, all what I can think of is my flight to Nairobi. Right. Nairobi, Kenya, that's in East Africa, right? Alright, so I was on standby, but I was going for a round trip flight from Jeddah to um, Nairobi. So um, during uh, the flight, uh, my position was to serve the company because I believe I was the most junior. So we took off. In the middle of the flight, uh, the captain uh, called me um, and I reported to the cockpit and he said, uh, call the supervisor and prepare the cabin because we're having an emergency landing. Yeah. Uh, well, I have I have experienced a couple of emergency landings, but this one is unforgettable because it turned out to be a 
very, very nice label work. This is when I experienced seeing those animals, flock of animals. Uh, we literally had a layover and waking up in the middle of um, safari park hotel breakfast time a zebra walking just you know all those things the wonders of god that um, you can see during the time that um, you have you've been in this wonderful um, career such an opportunity so those are i think one of my unforgettable Wow. Um, can we all agree that that was a fascinating story, right? Yes. Yeah, I was actually just want to listen more, hear more about that. <laughs> but um, I'm sure that some of them would also like to ask uh, some questions to Miss Marla. So we'll have next is um, Myla. Thank you for that, Sir Gavin. For the third question is, what urged you to create the wings, the first flight of that school in the Philippines? Uh, realizing the time that I was in the airlines um, during the training period uh, there are uh, flight attendants who did not make it in the training especially the safety part uh, I am not sure if it's about the comprehension or uh, the total understanding of the whole training program so that urges that urges me to uh, create uh, wings for your center for flight. Thank you for sharing this with us, by the way. And for the next question, um, take it away, our Pia. Thank you, Sir Gavin. Mom Marla, in creating the first flight attendant training program in the Philippines, what are the challenges that, uh, that have you encountered? Creating a certain program is um, quite Hard, especially when you are a meticulous in selecting the curriculum uh, and during the time the challenges is TESDA uh, did not or uh, doesn't have a training program for flight attendants. So we have to create our own design and present it to them and have it approved. So the challenges is uh, coming up with the best um, training materials, uh, selecting the instructors. Of course, you want to be the have, be having the best of the best you know, that we have it during that time. And uh, at the same time, uh, we were successful in uh, having it approved uh, with TESTA and um, we ran it smoothly and it was good. So I think what everyone would like to know is what can Avitech offer to aspiring flight attendants like them? Right? Right? Yes. Right? Yes. Right? All right. I, I realize that uh, the public doesn't know much about corporate flying. Uh, so we have a seminar about uh, corporate uh, flight attendant or the business jet, as they call it, or VIP, VIP corporate flying flight attendants. And, um, uh, that's one of the seminars and then we also have the um, um, three types of flight attendants yes people <laughs> there's a type of flight attendants out there so you have to know those all right what type of flight attendant you want to be um, and uh, we also have our uh, five secrets to success on your career so those three is uh, running now in our ML LMS query management system which is Moodle and if you're interested just come over and um, be a part of Asia Tech. What are the seminars that Avia Tech offers? Okay at the moment the program is still under development it's more of a coaching uh, rather than uh, training because the airlines will train you uh, for you for that for you to know the airlines will train you and so what we're going to do here in Aviatech is to develop 
the flight attendant image within you. But right now, we're offering you know, seminars. Um, yeah, seminars. We have, uh, we have conducted three seminars this past, um, uh, since COVID came in. We're giving it away for free. And we run uh, five batches now. So you prefer using the term coaching instead of um, training because as you said that um, the airlines will provide the training for um, flight attendants or the hired people, right? So where does this coaching lead them? I prefer the term uh, coaching because like, um, like I said, the, the, the airline will train you when you are already hired. But uh, coaching and developing your uh, flight attendant materials is personalized. You know, since you're individual and we will address whatever the strength or the weaknesses within you, that flight attendant material thing. So it's more of a coaching because it's too personalized. Each individual has his or her own. So that's what Davian Tech is going to do when the cabin crew lab is going to be operating. Alright, so let's be more precise. I have prepared uh, an one of the exercises that we have in the program. So let's play this game. You have Kevin, one for me? Would you like to join? I would love to. <laughs> Alright. This PI evaluation is just a part of our, uh, one part of our assessment. Uh, as you can see, there's about eight slices of PI, which represents the flight attendant materials. And um, you can gauge from one to 10 so that you'll be able to grade yourself and then um, Noticing you are drawing a graph by uh, putting or grading yourself. And then uh, the outer part, you have to shade it. Those are your weaknesses. And those are the flight attendant materials that we need to address and develop. It requires a lot of patience. 
determination to carry on you you're to carry on your position as a president of, and of course um to be there to be the mother of the full officers to be the sister everything that you can offer your heart your physical your heart your physical appearance should be there and of course again your heart and service for the students and of course the whole Lasallian community should be seen not just inside the Lasallian University but also outside the academy itself. For, that's all that I can offer. Thank you very much. Why do you want to become flight attendant? I want to become a flight attendant because I love to travel. To be a flight attendant requires a lot of patience hard work and determination and of course it comes with a bigger responsibility and also duty. I want to become a flight attendant because I have this passion in serving people. It is a purpose that is calling me to be. And I want to extend that purpose in a challenging way. And to be part of an airline industry and to serve for your fellow Filipino is one of the challenging roles that I can do up to the skies. I believe that um, skies is only the limit. So you get the chance to serve other people, you get the chance to um, bring that passenger from point A to point B in a safer way and of course meet them in the skies and bring them home with the family love that you have in your heart. Why do you want to become a flight attendant? I have three main reasons why I want to, be, to become a flight attendant. Number one is that I love serving other people. Serving different people makes me happy and seeing them going going to the place they want, their dream place, their, their country, and seeing, seeing them going back to their country is, uh, is really over it overwhelms me because I'm the one who can I'm the one who can serve them going back to their country, um, giving them some food, asking them what they need, what they want, and I want them to feel to be at home in the skies with us. With the, with the airline they choose and the second one is that I want to avail the free tickets for my family because for me the best tour I want is to be with my family um, I want them to make I want them to be proud that I can take them to the place that they really want to go and the third one is that um, I want to experience different I want to Try different foods in every country that I will that I will visit, and also I want to discover myself more. What asset do you have that you can offer the airline? Loyalty and honest is one of the main reasons I want to work in your company. Why? Because being honest with you is working with you a lifetime and telling you what what is good or bad in your company or for me. Um, I will be there for you, for you with even though there will be bad days or good days to be on. At least I know, I, at least I know that I can improve myself and also the company to, to both of us will grow. The best asset that I can offer to the company or as a flight attendant is of course the, again the heart and service or the heart and serving other people. If you really love your job, it comes naturally. Presenting yourself to the people, giving them, giving them an exceptional um, kind of service, exceptional meaning that you are beyond the standard that they can offer you. Giving them that kind of service will make them feel that they are home and you really respect their presence inside the aircraft and of course you really value your time together even though that you have a lot of people to give service to. What asset that I can give to the airline that I will be applying for or that I'm dreaming for is that I have this pride that um, I always want to give the best in service in every customer that I will be serving for and that's the best thing that I can I can offer to the airlines as a flight attendant. So there is no good and bad answer. Basically, it's all about yourself. And being honest and expressing everything during the interview is the best thing for the human uh, resources team.
people to determine, to determine who they will be hiring. So to be natural and to express the best of yourself you can be, there is no good or bad answer. The only thing is, is that the type of personality that this particular airline is looking for. So, as for the IATA or the International Association of uh, Air Transport Association, uh, the appearance of a flight attendant um, contributes to the growth of the airline. And it depends on the airline's branding. So which airline would you like to be joining? You have to find out what type of flight attendant are they looking for, for the type of personality. So uh, I've heard all your answers a while ago and um, uh, for me, when, during the interview, what I want to see from the applicant, because I have worked uh, in the human capital uh, field for a long period of time. We do interview, we hire, and uh, we celebrate as well with those who made it to the aviation industry. and. What we are looking for is what you can offer. So the answer like, I'd like to travel, or I want the free ticket, is not what we are looking for. It's what you can offer, not what you can get from the company. So I hope uh, you will be uh, watching over Aviatech and for the opening of the Cabin Crew Love. Thank you very much.